Outdoor Adventures. Greetings all, Chook here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I'm just days away from doing my Glock 20 Gen 5 video. It's on the way, it's being sent to Alaska. But in the meantime, I had to do a video about the P365. This thing, it makes me sad because I love SIG. I simply love SIG. If you've seen some of my latest videos, I'm doing the P229. Uh, it's one of my favorite guns, near to my heart, but cops keep shooting themselves in the leg while their P320s are in their holster, and now we're seeing these exact same fire control unit in these 365s, almost identical, uh, having problems. You'll see Tactical Advisors videos, and now Trigger Bar Philosopher. I'll throw a link up to his video. He's one of my patrons. Check out his channel. But it's doing this weird thing. This thing is safe. We're You'll press the trigger, nothing will happen, then you'll shake it and it'll go off. Now, mine's never done that. And I think it's pretty rare because LW Road competes with his X5 Legion P320 and he's, he's shot, you know, thousands of rounds over that for a couple of years and never had a malfunction. But these things keep happening and it's to the point where it's one of the reasons why I don't carry this thing anymore. Of course, the main reason is I always want to try something new, just consume, consume, always something new. It's, it's super fun for me to try different platforms. But to be fair, I'm not carrying this loaded in my bedroom safe anymore. I don't chamber it, which is crazy because all of you know my carry pistols, I keep chambered in the safe in case I need to grab one, but not, not this one. I, it's, it's a lot of people have mentioned it too on comments on my channel not trying to knock SIG because I love them. This thing was just a marvel of technology. Nobody else was doing, except for Springfield, was making those mags, one and a half stacked mags. They're 17 rounder. This is the 12 rounder. I got the Wilson Combat grip module. This thing was kind of scratching my fat tire a little bit too much. But I mean, the, the integrated comp and the slide, just everything SIG has been doing is amazing, but they need to recall these, I feel, or just figure it out because we need to figure out why these things keep going off on their own, injuring people. I mean, you know, there's those lawsuits years ago. They're still happening. Every few months, it seems like someone in law enforcement or that carries a lot is having one go off if they drop it or it's just sitting in their holster. So it's unacceptable and I hope we can do something about it. Let me know what you guys think, chime in. I mean, it's one of the best platforms as far as a carry gun. I still love this thing, but I would like to see some kind of recall or something. So let me know what you guys think. Please check out my website down below and become a patron if you can. Thanks guys, it's Chu, your friend the field. Chew.